Hello and welcome to 7 Days of Science. It's Ben again, minus the face this time, as Doug's dead and unable to do this week's episode. We've got lots of exciting news for you, so let's get- We'll start off this week with the fantastic news of a brand new genus and species of Tyrannosaur. Named Jinbeisaurus wangi, I think, this dinosaur is classified as a mid-grade Tyrannosauroid, so it's not as derived as animals such as Appalachiosaurus, but is more so than taxa such as Delong and Eotyrannus. This was a small to medium-sized theropod dinosaur, and the actual fossil remains known from it consists of a pair of maxillary bones, a dentary associated with them, as well as a few vertebrae and a part of a pubis. Jinbeisaurus comes from Upper Cretaceous Rocks in Shanxi Province, China, making this creature the first theropod to ever be found in this province, as well as adding to our knowledge of Tyrannosaur diversity in Asia. And what could possibly be better than a new Tyrannosaur? A new whale, of course. This new genus and species of prehistoric whale is called Igecetus gehenni, and it was discovered in late Eocene-aged rocks in Egypt. Classified as a protocetid, it is now the youngest known member of this group. It appears this whale was better adapted as a more fully aquatic organism compared to earlier protocetids, and did not rely as much on propulsion by feet. The researchers state that it's unlikely Igecetus had a tail fluke, but probably swam by undulating the midbody and tail. So, Igecetus represents another transitional form between foot-propelling older whales and the switch to tail-propelling younger ones. Also this week, there has been a very interesting study published on Triceratops. This paper has examined a particular specimen of this dinosaur, from the Hell Creek Formation of North Dakota, which shows co-ossification in five tail vertebrae, meaning the bones are all fused together by extra bone growth. The vertebrae in question would have been positioned about three quarters of the way down the length of the tail in life, and the way they're fused also causes them to bend to the right. No bones from further down the tail were ever found, so this either means that this Triceratops had a tail with a kink of 100 degrees at three quarters of the way down, or it was cut off at this location. The cause of this injury is difficult to determine, but the researchers suggest possible trampling by other members of its species, collision with others or objects in the environment, predation, or perhaps disease. Also in the news, some interesting developments to do with megalosaurs. A paper was published recently in which isolated teeth found in late Jurassic Age rocks in Uruguay and Tanzania were analysed, and their morphologies found to be incredibly similar to the megalosaurid Torvosaurus. As a result, the teeth have been assigned to the genus, meaning Torvosaurus is now also known from Africa and South America, in addition to North America and Europe. Not only that, but this is also the first definitive megalosaurid known from South America, massively expanding the known range of this group of predatory dinosaurs. These megalosaurids would probably also have been the apex predators amongst the vertebrate fauna known from this location in Uruguay. And finally, a fascinating new discovery about the giant prehistoric caiman Parasaurus has been made. It turns out that this huge reptile, which we've talked about before on the channel, actually deviated from a pattern seen in most other crocodilians. This pattern involves the number of sacral vertebrae, the backbones near the hip, which are very consistent across most members of the lineage. However, in Parasaurus there was an extra sacral vertebra. This, along with a more vertical pectoral girdle, appears to have been an adaptation for supporting its massive weight, enabling this huge caiman to more easily move about on land. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode of 7 Days of Science, and thank you to everyone who's been so excited about the speculative evolution project we announced in the last video. We've already had so many submissions and there are some incredibly creative designs I've seen. I'm really looking forward to seeing how it all turns out and I hope you are too. Anyway, thanks for watching and we'll see you on Sunday.